When you tap buy on a stock trading app, you are not just sending a request. You are triggering a real-time pipeline of systems. APIs fire, orders are validated, some get matched in house, others are routed to exchanges like Nasdaq. And all of this happens in milliseconds, sometimes microseconds. Under the hood, it's a finely tuned network of order books, matching engines, and in some cases, algorithms competing at blistering speeds. I'll break it all down in this video, from brokers and exchanges to how high frequency trading turns code into cash. Let's get started. Let's start from the user screen. You open an app, maybe Robinhood or Zeroda, and you place a limit buy order for 100 shares of say Tesla at $150. The moment you hit buy, your order lands in the broker's backend. Think of it like a REST API call. Simple on the surface, but under the hood, it's often handed off to a Kafka topic or a message queue. Why? To decouple things. That way, even if downstream systems are momentarily slow, your app doesn't hang. Smooth user experience always. Now, before the order goes anywhere, the system checks, is your account funded? Are you even allowed to trade this stock? And these checks run through internal microservices, usually part of a core trading platform that makes sure every trade stays clean, legal, and compliant. Then comes the interesting part, routing. This is where the broker decides, should I match this order myself or send it to an exchange? And depending on the answer, the order might take very different paths. Some lightning fast, others a bit more complex. Once it is validated, the broker needs to figure out the best place to send it. And no, it doesn't always go straight to the stock exchange. Sometimes the broker handles it internally. Big firms that are also broker dealers like Fidelity or Robinhood might run their own private matching system called a crossing engine or a dark pool. That means your buy order could get matched with someone else's sell order, all within the broker system, without ever touching a public exchange. But other times, the order is sent outside to public exchange like Nasdaq or NYSE. And here's the rule that governs it all. Best execution. By law, brokers are required to do what is best for you, the trader. They have to consider price, speed, and likelihood of execution. So, it's not random. It's a calculated, regulated decision. And it happens in milliseconds. Let's say your order gets routed to the Nasdaq exchange. The exchange takes in your request and sends it to what is called a matching engine, the brain of the stock exchange. The matching engine is where all the action happens. It's a high performance system that maintains something called the order book, a live list of all the buy and sell orders for every stock. On one side of the book, you have got bids, people looking to buy sorted from highest to lowest price. On the other side, you have asks, people looking to sell, sorted from lowest to highest. Now let's say you placed a buy limit order for $150. If there is a sell order already sitting at 149.9, boom, the engine matches them instantly and a trade is executed. This process follows strict rules. Price first, better prices get priority. And time second, that is if two people offer the same price, whoever comes first wins. It's all algorithmic, no human involvement. The matching engine just keeps scanning, matching, and updating the order book thousands of times a second with precision and fairness. And once your trade is done, a confirmation flows back through the system to the exchange, the broker, and then your app. Once the order is executed, the exchange sends back a confirmation, the broker updates your portfolio, and you see the results in your app. All this in seconds. Matching engines are built for extreme performance. We are talking in-memory architectures written in C++ or Rust and designed to handle hundreds of thousands of messages per second. And these are in database-backed systems. Everything is live, RAM resident and optimized for speed. And yes, they expose APIs too. You can submit new orders, cancel or modify existing ones, or even query the current state of the book. Some exchanges run on event-driven architectures using technologies like Kafka and gRPC to stream order updates. Others go even deeper, 
using log-free data structures, in-memory queues, and nanosecond precision clocks to ensure proper sequencing and ultra-low latency. Every microsecond matters. This is where finance starts to look a lot like high-performance computing. All right, we have been talking about brokers, platforms like Robinhood, Zeroda, or interactive brokers. They act as middlemen, connecting you, the trader, to the market. They take your order, decide where to route it, and handle execution and reporting. But there is another player in the system, one you never see in your app. High Frequency Trading Firms, or HFTs. Unlike brokers, HFTs don't serve retail users like you and me. They are not middlemen. They are direct participants in the market. Firms like Citadel Securities, Jane Street, or Virtue Financial use blazing fast algorithms to place thousands of orders every second, trying to profit off tiny price movements. You place a trade maybe a few times a day. HFTs, they are placing trades millions of times a day. In fact, when your order hits the exchange, it's often an HFT firm on the other side of your trade. If you are buying a stock, they might be selling it to you, and vice versa. These firms compete to be first in line, first to see new orders, first to react, first to profit. And to even compete in that race, high-frequency trading firms have built some of the most advanced distributed systems in the world, where decisions are made in microseconds and hardware is as critical as code. In the next video, we'll go deeper into that world. We'll break down how HFT systems are architected, what kind of infrastructure they use, and why they care so much about things like nanosecond clocks, FPGA accelerators, and tick-to-trade pipelines. If you are a software engineer, especially one who loves performance, systems, or finance, this is the kind of architecture you'll want to geek out on. And guys, liking, sharing, and subscribing really helps me keep making videos like this. It tells the algorithm and me that you found it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.